Alright, hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. And in this video, we are going to play some online matches of the multiplayer game Dead by Daylight. In this video, we are going to play as a survivor. In my previous two videos, I have played as um uh, Dwight Fairfield and Jake Park. But this time, we are going to play Feng Min, who is... Um, another one of my favorite survivors to currently play, because what I like about Feng Min is um, her uh, objective-based abilities or perks, such as this technician one, for example. Um, if I fail a repair skill check on the uh, generators, um, the explosion will be prevented, um, and that's really, really good in my opinion, because, you know, when you fail a skill check in the generator... A makes a, an explosion noise it's very loud but this greatly reduces that although the downside is not only do you lose progress you lose an additional three percent progress but i'm willing to sacrifice that another one of her perks is after i perform a rushed vault so a running um so if my character is running and then vaults i will break into a sprint at 150 percent of my normal running speed for three seconds which is can be beneficial to gain you know three seconds of you know increased speed to get away from the killer if i can and i have another perk called lightweight where um my running is just light and soft so it makes it difficult to track me and i have another perk here that i use with jake park where if i um rescue a survivor from a hook i gain a 100 percent speed increase while i heal them for 30 seconds uh for feng min we are going to stick with since we have four we're gonna stick with uh worn out uh toolbox if i go to add-ons you can see i have very little so i don't really want to use any add-ons so i'm actually going to um go ahead and if i go over here to archives um let's see because i'm pretty new to this as well so i, I kind of have to understand what the rift fragments are um they're used to progress through the rift i can they are earned by collecting xp and completing archive challenges when the rift is open Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So uh, I'll earn three it, after I complete this archive challenge, which is pretty cool. And look at that, I have a tier one uh, reward unlocked. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, so just some cosmetic outfits. Uh, it doesn't look like, oh, okay, they're all for uh, survivors I don't have. But um, okay, so the free track is what I have, whereas the premium track, I take it this is kind of like the game's battle pass. It has all these different pages of tiers and rewards. But, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, can I go ahead and claim that? Hmm, maybe I, uh, um, because I'm at current tier one, maybe if I level up to two, this will be claimed if it hasn't already been claimed in my inventory. And then I'll move on to the second one. All right, that's pretty cool. I um I did not know that um, this game had that, or kind of like their own version of like a battle pass in a way. But I suppose that's pretty cool, um especially if you're invested into this game. But um yeah, uh with the introduction out of the way, um before we search for a match, um I've said this in the past couple of videos, so I'm going to go ahead and share it again. But um. At least in my experience, I'm I'm playing this game um, on Xbox because it's available on, on Game Pass, and I've noticed sometimes when searching for a match, it can take um, quite some time. It could take a couple minutes. So, in between matches, when I'm in the lobby searching for a match, I'm going to cut that boring part out of the video, and then of course I'll commentate and play um, as we get into matches. So that's so that being said. Uh, we are going to play as Feng Min, and let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Alright, welcome back everyone. We are playing on the Withered Isle map. And it looks like we start off with a survivor right next to us. Since our character is focused on um, uh, repairing the generators, I am going to make my way to uh, wherever the closest generator is. And at the very beginning there, you can see that I pulled down the pallet. That was an accident. I did not mean to hit the RB button. I meant to hit LB on Xbox because um, um 
LB will allow um, will allow the survivors to run. So that was my bad. There's a there's a generator right here. Maybe I can work on it with this guy. Yep, looks like we can. Oh, there's a John Wayne uh, Gacy. Watch out for that guy. Oh, hello, sir. All right, he is uh, focused on us, so this is not good. I guess it's kind of a good thing I already pulled this down. I'm not going to do a running vault just because. Oh man, that was uh, that was a big mistake on my part. I really thought because he destroyed that, um, he was either going to be stuck in the animation still, or he was going to um. He was going to actually exit the uh, uh, that like small shack. Well, this is um not off to a great start, but that's okay. It looks like two of the survivors are already um working on generators. Or uh, okay, at least uh, Dylan here seems like he might be heading my way. I could take the chance to escape, but I'd rather wait it wait till my health is. A little bit more drained just in case like this guy I get uh um, I get saved and the killer is coming down here so let's try to get a running uh, vault um how do I word this the let's activate my perk where it's like the uh you know when I perform a running vault the uh um I get that like boost in speed. Sorry about that. So once he takes that survivor downstairs, I'm going to go to this guy and try to heal him. I may I may get hit a second time at least. I don't know if I will be able to heal him in time. Look at that vault. Oh no, poor guy. Damn it! I just picked him up, but because we vaulted, I got that um. I got that increase in speed. I'm going to wait a little bit because if I immediately go down there or wait around, uh, I'm probably going to fail and get hit. So let's this brute, this generator is almost done. So I might as well go ahead and try finish it. There he is, right there. Definitely might be heading towards me. Oh my God! What is that? I don't think I've actually encountered the, uh, the clown yet. Oh my god. Not, uh, I'm not doing so well with this match, you guys. Maybe if I get lucky I can wiggle my way up. I think there's a hook right next to me. Yep. Well, this might, this might be the end of, uh, this might be my end. For this match. Yeah, this, this killer, um, whoever this clown is, is doing a really good job at um, um, kind of pressuring, of uh, building pressure against all of us, and then uh, um, attacking all of us. Let me get this running vaults increase. Oh my god, I ran into the... Um, Whatever that's called, that like rail. I'm going to die, but that's okay. At least I saved a survivor. I'm going to go ahead and crawl over here in the corner with this guy. And I'm going to uh, bring up my recovery bar just in case I do get picked up. But with three of us already downed. And one survivor. Yep, look at that. Oh man, this is a... Uh, unless one of these survivors can wiggle their way out of his grasp, or if they get the chance to escape off the hook, I just don't... I don't see, um... I just don't see uh, this working out for any of us. Yeah, this, um... This was not, um, a great start, uh, to, uh, to some Dead by Daylight. 
But um, that's okay though. The the killer here, whoever this clown is, I mean, props to them. This uh, they did a really good job um, coming after all of us. And here comes John Wayne uh, Gacy. I don't. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to wiggle my way on this. Oh man, what a bummer. But that, um. Uh. That was, um. That was really good on the killer's part. Wow. I don't think I've ever had, um. A match, um. Ended that quickly, actually. Or where I performed that, uh, poorly. Not too much, but yeah, we didn't do a whole lot during this game, so you know, I'm not going to really get any my uh, ranks here or many um, um, blood points. I'm going to go ahead and give the killer props because the killer did a really good job. All right, hopefully, I will have better luck with the next match, so um, I will see you then. Alright, welcome back everyone. We found a new match and we are playing on the Cold Wind Farm map. Hopefully with this uh, match, I will have better luck. It looks like we started right next to a survivor, so... Hopefully, um... Well, now there's three of us. Hopefully... Oh. At least us three here can, uh... Repair, uh, this generator. I said whoops because... Oh, just like that. These two have, um... Uh, mess up their skill checks and this is actually new to me. I've never seen this uh, villain. I said villain. I've never seen this um killer before Oh man, why did it have to be me? Why did it have to be me of all people? That's okay I'm Going to go ahead and just bring in my recovery bar just in case one of those two um, survivors pick me up It looks like this one might be heading towards me, maybe? Oh. Of course I got picked up. Let's hope that I can wiggle my way out of this. Oh no, there's not enough time. Hey, look at that. Oh no. Okay, this is... I gotta get the fuck out of here. Let's see where their killer went. Oh, sweet. This person's uh, healing me. Uh oh. We gotta fucking bounce. We gotta bounce. Oh my god. Should have uh, should have been paying attention. I'm going to go ahead and use my running vault. So I can. Uh, Try my best to get away. Oh my gosh, she's following me, bringing the killer. This is not going to end well. It looks like the killer can inflict a madness. Oh my god, the killer saw me. Right? Right, let's hope that the killer didn't see me. Oh my god, the killer's looking my way. I think I might be screwed. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> oh man, I just had a feeling. I, uh, I don't know how to deal with this killer because I've never um, played against this killer before. Um, if I, I'm, well actually, I could be wrong. Because that looks like the blink ability. Is this the nurse, but just a cosmetic outfit? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, she looks like she's kind of moving like how the nurse does. Okay, maybe it is a nurse. I just had- I just assumed it was a new one because of how the outfit looked. Alright, this is my second time hooked. 
this is not good. So I think once I get unhooked, I should really focus on um, trying to repair the generators. But honestly, I might not even get unhooked. This is this is not good. Yeah, some someone else died already. Yep, I'm I'm going to die. I'm very close. Yep, there we go. Oh man, that's uh that's unfortunate. Oh, well, I mean, um this this killer also, whoever was playing the nurse, did a you know, also a great job at clearing out three survivors already, so so far today these uh killers have been uh I've been doing a really good job at um, pressuring and pursuing these survivors. So again, kind of like the previous match, not too much happened here, so that's a bummer. I'm going to go ahead and get props to the uh, the killer, and hopefully we have a um a a better match or a better experience uh next match. So I will see you then. All right, welcome back everyone. We are playing on the Haddonfield map with the uh, Halloween theme song playing. So now I am going to um, go to the through this house first and uh, hopefully find a, a generator. There's a generator outside. Oh my God, it's the killer. No, I was found. Hello, please don't hit me. God, what a terrible start to, um, what a terrible start to the game. Man, this has happened, uh, oh my god, I didn't see this person. Of course I got hit. Oh my god. This is terrible. I'm, uh, every match I've had, I've had bad luck really starting out. Like, this, this sucks. I'm going to take a risk and um, go ahead and repair this generator in the middle of the street. Because luckily, although the killer hit us once already, it seems like the killer is preoccupied. And we are going to go ahead and hopefully not fail these skill checks and um, repair these generators. It looks like me and one other survivor are already repairing uh, two generators, so that's good. And the killer is playing as uh, the Wraith. Um, a killer that I've played um, a few times already. And the Wraith is really fun to use. I, I like that killer. I'm kind of looking around while I do this because um, I just want to hopefully, if I can tell that the killer is cloaked or even uncloaked, I hope I can spot um, the killer. Oh no wait, why did uh hmm, something happened that I don't understand. Why did this um explode? Was there was there a skill check on screen that I just like totally overlooked? Maybe that's what happened. And that probably did give away my location, so I really hope I can finish this um by the time the killer hooks that uh survivor. Oh, and this guy's helping me out. Check, the, check that out. Alright, I'm going to run uh, behind some cover, such as this car. And what's pretty cool is this guy is uh, healing me, so that's awesome. Let's see. I don't see the killer. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm, but that survivor is still trapped. I'm going to hug this wall here. And I'm going to try to make my way over there. That person, that survivor is already almost at... 
Oh, someone saved them, so that, uh, oh, damn it, someone else got hit. Where did, um, uh, ne never mind, is there a generator down here, or is it just, uh, hooks? Oh no, there's a generator down here. Alright, I'm going to try to focus on this generator, because that guy's at full health. And if no other survivor gets to him, then I will focus on, um, um, make my way over to that survivor. And it looks like the survivor's taking the, their chance to escape, because they're already almost at full health, uh, quickly. Oh, damn it. I, uh, I could kind of hear the terror radius, but it really didn't sound like it was that close on my screen. Damn it. I, I hit RB, but it must have not registered. Oh well. Hopefully I can wiggle my way out of this. No. I don't want to take the chance to escape to bring my health um, even further down in case it takes a while for me to be rescued. So, um... Uh, I'm going to kind of wait this one out. It seems like the person uh, who is running away from the other two survivors might be making their way um, to me. Um, I sure hope so. Uh, that would be nice. It would be unfortunate to die again. Alright, look at this. That's awesome. I'm going to make my way back down downstairs. Hopefully we didn't get seen. Look at this, they're uh, healing me, that's awesome. Alright, since we already were- oh my god, the killer's back. Oh no. Oh, hey, look at that. We were able to uh, stun the killer. That's awesome. Damn it. The killer saw me. Oh my god, I'm trapped. God damn it. I keep getting screwed. Oh, I see. I see, like, the outline of the cloak ability. Or at least I believe I did. Alright, we only need two generators left to repair, so, uh, not, uh, not too bad. It seems like I probably should not go for the one in the, uh, in the, um, the basement where the, the killer keeps bringing, um, the other, uh, um, survivors get hooked because, uh, it seems like a bad place. And I'm going to go ahead and focus on this, um, generator. Hopefully the killer um, doesn't make their way over to me. This is kind of an awkward angle for the uh, for the camera. really unfortunate I me personally I would like it I would like to not have any of the survivors die but um, we only need two regenerators left to repair and that um, that killer at least was 
Um, at least with me, I feel like that killer was on my ass quite a bit. And um, because of that, I really, since we're so close, I really just wanted to kind of take the chance of um, uh, repairing the uh, generator since we're so close. And uh, yep, I'm almost done with this one. So that kind of sucks. I, I wish I could save every survivor or that um, I could uh, um, oh, there's the uh, killer right there. Yeah, as I was saying before, I, I wish I could save every survivor, but if we're so close and one has been um, hit twice already and then hooked, I think it okay to oh look at that I'm gonna go ahead and heal this guy um maybe we can go save that survivor since they have full health and um make our way to the exit so now we have the chance to escape all right look at that that's pretty good I'm going to follow this guy because both of us can afford a hit Hmm. I'm going to... This is going to be tough. Yeah, the killer's right there. I'm going to go ahead and run back here. Because, yeah, he's opening it now, but... He's uh, opening up the escape. God, okay, the claws is halfway uh, done with her, or her health bar is halfway um, drained, so I, one of us have to save her. I'm willing to take the risk. Probably gonna get hit. That's okay. Oh, looks like the killer's preoccupied with, um, um, with that survivor. I'm going to go ahead and kind of watch that survivor. I'm going to hug the outside here, this wall. Oh, he was very, very close. Maybe he can crawl his way out. Oh, look at that. He crawled his way out. That's nice. There's a bell. Oh, I'm sorry. The killer rang the bell. So because of that, um, I would like to see where the killer is. One more time before I escape or run out. I don't know where the other survivor went. I can afford to take one more hit, so I'm going to go ahead, risk getting hit once more for a little bit of a speed boost, and just make my way out. Yep, there's a killer right there. The killer's gonna hit me. And look at that, we successfully escaped. So, um, not that bad of a match. Um. I did get hit quite a bit. I think I was hooked once at least. But um Yeah, look at that. We repaired um I think it was one or two uh generators this match, but we we got iridescent and gold rank, so we performed pretty good during this match. Um earned quite a bit of XP, not too much. Look at that, just under twenty thousand. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give everyone props. Um, survivors really uh, kind of looked out for each other and would heal. And whoever was the Wraith, um, this killer did a good job too. This was a really fun match. But look at that. We had two um, not so great matches from the start. And honestly, I was a bit worried with this match because, um, you know, at the very start in the, in the home that I spawned in or outside of, of course, it was where the killer spawned. And I just... I just, of course, had to spawn with the killer. But luckily, not only did we prevail, but the last three remaining survivors were able to escape. And so, um, yeah, I would say that's a pretty, um, that's a pretty satisfying, um, conclusion to this. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video for some Fangman, uh, survivor gameplay. Um, that, that being said, I hope you all are doing well, and... Take it easy.